Snow also piling up in Utah's mountains, delivering the kind of water that our communities need to climb out of this extended drought. In the mountains near Alta, the snowpack is already stacking up as one of the wettest in 20 years. The specialist Jed Bull spoke with a University of Utah professor, keeping a close eye on the accumulation. Jed? Yeah, in a year when we desperately need the water, Utah is fortunate that the storms have delivered so far. Dr. Mackenzie Skiles studies the snowpack in a snow pit near Alta that's providing some impressive data this year. It is a big year for the plot. Mackenzie Skiles directs the Snow Hydrology Research to Operations Laboratory at the University of Utah. We're really interested in quantifying how much water is held as snow in the in the mountains and then how that is changing over time and how we can better measure it. They measure snowpack and other atmospheric variables at the Atwater study plot near Alta. We want to watch the snow accumulate over time and then melt out over time and use that to assess how much water we're going to get downstream. Right now it looks good. We've already hit three meters of snow depth and that's almost 10 feet of snow and typically in previous years, so 2019 was also a pretty deep snow year. We didn't hit three meters until late February. To give you an idea of what that looks like, here's a picture of Skiles in a similar snow pit she maintains in Colorado. So we're getting a lot of snow and we're getting it early. And we've also doubled our snow depth over the last 30 days. She's never seen the snowpack accumulate this quickly. Right now, the greatest snow on earth is dense, 10 feet deep, with two and a half feet of snow water equivalent at that site. Double the average amount of water in the snowpack for mid-January. Snowpack typically peaks around April 1st. The deepest it's ever been is just under three meters. So we've already sort of hit that near peak value, but in January. Skiles expects that the snow will continue to pile up uh, in that area and across the Wasatch Mountains. She visits that snow pit once a month while the snow is accumulating and once a week when the snow starts to melt off. Guys? Seems like a nice getaway, that snow pit. Glad to see the work she's doing. <laughs> Jed, thank you.